Hallelujah, hallelujah. My dear friend, Jesus Christ is God, amen. You know, tonight is our night video here, okay? I want to talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving as we enter the first of March 2024. Thanksgiving for me should be a lifestyle for any Christian. And when we give God thanks, we actually do the will of God. The key verse here is in the first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So, thanksgiving simply defined as out of giving thanks, simple as that. Amen. According to First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, we are to give thanks in everything, for this is the will of God for us. Obviously, as a child of God, we are to give thanks to God for everything in our life, including sitting down, rising up, going to the toilet, yes, sleeping waking up breath breathing seeing healing feeling having a job or even without a job rich or poor failure or success good or bad happy or sad etc we are called to give thanks and failure to give thanks in everything is a violation of the will of god for you so giving thanks is one thing that the christian have to do unfortunately many christians don't do enough of it most of the time christians will complain rather than giving thanks so I want you to see today the importance of giving thanks. Giving thanks to God put a believer at bear with God's will. Furthermore, giving thanks to God is a demonstration of obedience to the word of God. It's not here in the book of Psalms. If you read the book of Psalms, you find that Psalms, the Psalms is always giving thanks. Let me say Psalm 105 as a content important command. It says, give thanks unto God. Giving thanks to God is good because God takes pleasure in his people. In conclusion, one of the most important ways to do the will of God is to give thanks in everything. Amen. Therefore, giving thanks is a debt owned by everyone, believer or non-believer. Listen, friend, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ as well as a personal Savior, you are not doing the will of God. Amen. And you are on your way to hell until you repent. Accept Jesus Christ today and confess your sins. Believe in him as your Lord and personal Savior, and it will save you from going to hell. Remember, blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. So give thanks to the Lord because he's good all the time for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.